we're being corralled into this box where we either have to hate Vladimir Putin and believe everything evil that's said about him and love Ukraine, and there's no in between. And that reminds me a lot of you're either a white supremacist or you go with the Democrat narrative on everything under the sun. The most lethal terrorist threat to the homeland today, white supremacy. Uh, and I, I want to understand white rage, and I'm white. I mean, there's as much right. interference here as you could possibly imagine. Before right. we even get to Hunter Biden, Nancy Pelosi, John Kerry, mm-hmm. Mitt Romney, and all of their children who earn millions from Ukrainian gas pointing. companies. These days, it's hard to believe anything because they've lied about <laughs> COVID, they lied about Russia collusion, they lied about the Ukraine impeachment trial, and there's so much more going on in Ukraine that nobody is talking about. Does Ukraine have chemical or biological weapons? Uh, my job as a journalist is to try to understand what is the truth here. I don't like being lied to. And we're being lied to on an epic scale. When we're told your only choice is you have to be 100% with Zelensky. Slava Ukraina. Who's a puppet who you can find on the internet in black stilettos and leather pants. Zelensky was selected like so many of our leaders. And honestly, with big tech and with election fraud these days, we don't know how many leaders all around the world have been yeah. selected for us and weren't actually voted in how to build back better we have to build back better build back better if donald trump gets the republican nomination there are many of us that will move heaven and earth to ensure he doesn't win we are fighting the same battles all over the world to pretend that this war is about russia and ukraine is a bare-faced lie yeah. putin has been warning for 15 years that he is not going to stand by while the globalists take over the world build bioweapons facilities and whatever else they're doing in ukraine ukraine has been a center of money laundering for many of the leaders in this country billions of u.s dollars have been laundered through Ukraine, and we say nothing about it. Does nobody question these things? We have an well, idiot, uh, like Lieutenant Colonel Vindman. Mr. Vindman, Lieutenant Colonel Vindman, please. Do you always insist on civilians calling you by your rank? And sits there as a lieutenant colonel. He didn't even make colonel. And he's telling the President of the United States what his policy should be. You have a tra-